Hello, my name is Pooja. Welcome to our new episode of Around the World. In this program, we talk about important international news. In today's episode, we will talk about the mutual cooperation between India and the US on semiconductors. If the most important thing in today's era is the computer, then the most important thing for the computer is a chip or semiconductor. Now you must be pondering, why are we telling you about computers and chips in this program of international news? We are telling you about computers and chips because major global powers are competing with each other for the supply of semiconductors. Actually, China and Taiwan produce about 50% of the world's semiconductors. Now the interesting thing is that the US, which is the largest importer of semiconductors, does not have a good relationship with China and its relations with Taiwan are facing hindrance due to China. Hence, the US is looking for a partner which can not only supply semiconductors to it, but can also curb China's growing economic influence in Asia. In this regard, India can prove to be the best partner of the US as a large emerging market for semiconductors. Significantly, the US wants to expand its relations with India in the semiconductor manufacturing sector. For this purpose, the US is planning to invest about 25 billion US dollars in India. This investment will act as an incentive to promote the Indian semiconductor industry locally. The US aims to establish India as a major player in the global supply chain to end China's dominance in chip manufacturing. Hence, the Indian semiconductor industry lying sluggish due to lack of investment can boom once again. Speaking on the issue, Sunil Acharya, Vice President of IESA, that is India Electronics and Semiconductor Association, has stated that the US companies like Intel, Texas Instruments and Micron, which manufacture semiconductors, are already functioning in India. In such a scenario, the presence of these companies in India and the cooperation and innovative policy of the US government will boost the Indian semiconductor industry. Furthermore, those Indian companies, which have attracted global buyers for the manufacture and design of semiconductors, that is chips, but have failed to deliver their products due to lack of global supply, chain will be benefited also. In addition, the reach of India's Make in India scheme will increase and other nations of the world will be encouraged to invest in India. Actually, all the countries of the world are adopting the policy of China plus one. Significantly, the search for a new partner by nations to reduce the dependence on China for manufacturing is called the policy of China plus one. The new partner should be geographically close to China and should have the required resources and the ability to innovate. India fulfills these criteria. Therefore, India is becoming a major beneficiary of the China plus one policy in the semiconductor and related industries. For this reason, the US is planning to invest in India and Taiwan. Taiwan, which holds the second position in the semiconductor industry, is also collaborating with India. Taiwan and India have also signed several memorandums of understandings. Notably, both the countries have come even closer in the view of the recent tensions with China. Taiwan is extremely positive about semiconductor supply to India as it believes that India is a better ally to counter China's hegemony. Therefore, the US also wants Taiwan semiconductor companies to produce in India so that the US doesn't have to suffer much loss in any emergency situation like war with China. However, in this case, economic experts hold that it is premature to expect cooperation from the US in the semiconductor sector. Experts state that India's semiconductor industry is faltering in the global market for the last few years. In this regard, cooperation with a country like the US without understanding India's economic interest is not advisable. So let's now know about the concerns of cooperation between India and the US on semiconductors. Actually, it would be more appropriate to look at cooperation between India and the US on semiconductors from a geopolitical perspective rather than from a commercial point of view. According to analysts, the basic objective of the US is to reduce Chinese dominance in the semiconductor manufacturing, not to provide economic benefits to India. India is seen in the role of a proxy agent in the US plans, yet the US always remains cautious in economic matters. Yet, the US is contemplating investing in India due to China except for the last five to six years. The US has supported India's arch rival, Pakistan. But the rapid rise of China in the changing geopolitical scenario of Asia not only reduced the political influence of the US, but also challenged its economic influence. 
Hence, the US has sought the support of globally emerging political and economic powers like India by sidelining Pakistan, which is a close ally of China. But for how long the US will cooperate with India in this manner remains to be seen. Another significant aspect of the issue is that when countries like Taiwan, which manufactures about a quarter of the world's semiconductors, are very enthusiastic about cooperating with India, then India should try not to collaborate with the US in this sector as far as possible. According to experts, India should seek cooperation from Taiwan instead of the US on semiconductors. Furthermore, the most appropriate way for India to move forward as a global supplier of semiconductors is to strengthen its domestic industry under the Make in India scheme. Significantly, India's conglomerates such as the Tata Group and Adani have pledged to invest billions of dollars in the Indian semiconductor industry. Therefore, India should support, protect and preserve its semiconductor industry, leaving aside the concerns of economic investment. However, Indo-US cooperation cannot be considered limited to any particular sector for any reason. India's semiconductor industry is expected to become a hub of innovation through India-US collaboration, which will help drive future technologies in different sectors including manufacturing and logistics. Now let's look at the question based on today's story. Semiconductor industry can establish a new dimension in the relations between India and the USA. Analyze the statement in the light of Indo-US relations.